Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to cover the content settings within the edit campaign inside of the app. So here you can see uh, on the screen we essentially have uh, two HTML editors here, one for the content and another one for the terms and conditions. So let's just make a few little changes here um, so that you can uh, see better some of the things that we can do. So let's maybe increase the size up to 24 and change the font Arial Black and make it uh, bold as well. And then I can center it, for instance, and of course I can add another line and I can put um, more things on here. I mean, for instance, I can change the text on that line maybe to red. And then the next option is what should happen after the timer hit zero or the maximum uh, limit is hit. In, so, for example, if you only want to sell a certain number, then what it should do once that number has been reached. So you've got a choice of do nothing, uh, hide countdown, sale count and block purchases, redirect to a custom URL, or display a custom message, but hide the countdown, sale counter, and block further purchases. So that gives you a good range of uh, options there. Uh, if you accept, uh, sorry, set the display a custom message, then of course it's going to give you the option to enter that here. If I take that off, just put it back to do nothing and that uh, goes. And then the, con uh, sorry, the terms and conditions, terms and conditions go here and get shown in the pop-up. Okay, so let's uh, just go down a little bit further. Uh, probably most people aren't going to uh, necessarily use the header include, footer include, but those would be where you could put tracking codes or indeed your pixel uh, code for Facebook exa as example for retracking. We also have an exit pop-up option. So at the moment I've set that to do not show, but you can have an exit pop-up or a top bar on exit. So those are the three options there. Uh, and you can also have some custom text either using the built-in snippets or you can edit and change all of these uh, fields here. It shows you what the default is uh, and you can obviously change that in each of these boxes to include uh, whatever phrase you want to use instead. But let's put it back to just use the built-in ones. Uh, I will save this though. And then I'm going to go back in and edit it. Because what I want to do is show you the preview. So this is what it will look like. And so you can see a couple of the changes I made here. And like I said, if you click on the terms and conditions you get the pop-up appear with whatever you've added in there and then you can just close it with the close button or the x in the right hand corner uh, so that pretty well covers the uh, content editing which is what appears at the bottom here 
inside of the app. So thanks and bye for now.